Uh, so my favorite things are really simple things. Uh, like if somebody said, you can have the best vegan ice cream, or you can have this perfectly ripe mango. Give me that mango. Uh, so I like really simple foods. That doesn't mean that I don't like celebrate with some pretty fun foods. Uh, I don't know, I just think about what like came off a tree, you know, like a really good apple that's still warm from the tree. Those are my favorite kind of things. Or when we're in Mexico in the winter, just like those foods that are just like ripened on the tree and there's nothing like it. Like we'll get a pineapple and we'll be like, isn't this the best? You know, we're so grateful to be eating this amazing food. That said, I am, sometimes I say I'm a vegan carnivore <laughs> because I eat meat for three meals a day when I was a kid. And so those foods that people call transition foods, the mock meats, whether it's hot dogs or sausages or the fish fillet things, that these vegan alternatives, I love them. You know, I don't eat them every day. I don't make them my staple foods. But I also don't deny myself, you know. So it's like, oh, I really feel like eating something that tastes like fish. And then I'll have like garden fish, you know, like I'll have one of those what people call transition foods and then I'm I can be a little embarrassed sometimes like well it's not really a transition food since I've been vegan for 45 years <laughs> you know I think I've already transitioned into what I'm going to be eating but I do I don't deny myself if I want it I have that typical day of foods would be like a green smoothie in the morning which I love oh in that I put um uh, kale and spinach and frozen pineapple, organic pineapple that's really sweet, uh, turmeric, fresh turmeric, ginger, lime, boatloads of lime and everything because it makes everything taste better. And yeah, so I just like blend up whatever we have that's perfectly ripe. And we both love that. We love it a lot. Lots of greens though and beets. I just put raw beets in there too. That's my favorite breakfast, I think. Uh, my partner, JC, his favorite breakfast is organic grits with greens. He's the king of grits. Let's see, lunch. Oh, lunch varies so much. Typical. Typical would be like a roll-up that is mostly, if you looked at it, it's like here's the roll-up, this big, and this much of it is greens. Because I love greens. Dinner. Varies a lot. We eat a lot of beans, a lot of soups. I don't. I know people who are raw foodists, and um, we do incorporate a lot of raw into ours. But I like warm comfort food. <laughs> Vegan donuts. <laughs> no, <laughs> I do love donuts. I have a thing, but I like healthy food. I'm definitely a tofu person. I love. You can make it a million ways. Tofu, tempeh, seitan are definitely regular things we're like steaming, sauteing, you name it. Um, we love a big salad with chickpeas and, you know, uh, a lot of herbs and tomatoes. And we also love stir fries. And I'm a big fan of like doing rice bowls where you steam you know, a lot of veggies and just have them on rice with a tahini lemon sauce. That's kind of my, I have to say, I crave that even now just talking about it. I'm like, that sounds so good. We're mostly health food here, but I, I don't say no to a, a good vegan cupcake either. And I should say, nooch on everything. <laughs> nooch on everything. I always love to eat avocados. Um, avocados is a, uh, people talk about bad fats. Avocado is a good fat for the body that uh, does so much for the system, especially for men, because it's also a natural aphrodisiac for men as well. So it's good for male manhood. So <laughs> they call it the gonad fruit. So that's one of the great things that I eat. Um, of course, your beans, um, your organic tofus, your tempehs and things of that nature. I'm also a big smoothie guy, you know, uh, especially when, during the summertime. I'll make sure I put all my superfoods in a smoothie, um, whether it's uh, hemp-based or 
uh, coconut based milk and with my moringa, my baobab, and my strongman herb that's a natural, two of the strongest aphrodisiacs that come out of Africa that helps the male to keep his testosterone level at a, di at a different place. So those are some of the staples that I eat. Bananas, um, nuts. Uh, when watermelon season is in, I'm always eating seeded watermelons because those are very good for detoxifying the body. And also, again, I keep talking about the aphrodisiacs, but that's for men, we need that, so yeah. As a vegan, I just started eating more of the foods that I always ate that just didn't have animals in them. Most of us have things like that that we really like. For instance, um, you know, every morning I eat oatmeal with uh, blueberries and flaxseed. That's easy to do. Um, I try to incorporate uh, some uh, higher protein foods like tofu and tempeh, some that are less processed than the mock meats. You know, I eat a lot of fruit, I eat a lot of vegetables, I eat nuts and seeds and whole grain bread and pretty much a whole food diet most of the time. However, that 20% of the time, I love vegan burgers, vegan pizza, some vegan junk foods. It's interesting because, you know, growing up, you eat and eating steak and potatoes and ham and and roast beef and what have you, um, that I really was not a big, uh, I guess, salad person. But I, I, I have learned over time that, you know, I actually enjoy probably a salad, you know, with, you know, with some either walnuts or some almonds once in a while, just to give you a little bit more protein. But, you know, there's plenty of protein in the salad itself, especially if you chop up some broccoli and put it in there as well. I, it's interesting because now I find that a salad is, you know, is one of my favorite foods to eat now because you can put so many different things in it. I have a Brussels sprout, you know, with cranberry salad or something that I think, think uh, Costco or somebody makes, but it's, it's, it's delicious. And I find that this is something I probably wouldn't have eaten in the past, but now it's, it's one of the things that it's one of my favorite foods. <laughs> I mean, we just had a wonderful, it was a vegan pizza from, with vegan cheese from Follow Your Heart. And there was just other, there's just so many options out there now that uh, they, have, they have made so many uh, wonderful, uh, you know, choices of, of vegan uh, meats and vegan uh, cheeses, just, diff just different substitutes. When it comes down to it, uh, it's, it's all about how you season your food. And that's really what it comes down to. Um, I mean, for breakfast, you know, once in a while I will, I will have some uh, um, scrambled tofu or I'll have some, uh, let's see, I've, I've had, you know, there's, there's some types of uh, oatmeal or steel cut oats and stuff once in a while. But uh, um, recently I've been uh, doing a little bit of uh, uh, intermittent fasting is what, it, what, I, what I've been doing lately. And that and that tends to help, of course, as you get older sometimes, you, you pan on a little weight and the pandemic hasn't helped any. <laughs> but uh, it's just one of those things that I find uh, to help me, you know, maintain my uh, health. I am the most boring eater. When I worked at a big brokerage firm years ago and everyone was afraid of getting laid off, they said, if we lose our jobs, we're going to have to eat like Brenda does. I love rice and beans. <laughs> I could live on quinoa and beans. I, that's my staple. I will eat every day to my heart's content. But I mix it up and put different vegetables in it, different sauces in it. But I've been eating, gosh, quinoa and or rice every day for probably 30 plus years. And I'll go out to eat with my friends to be social and I'll have a veggie burger. I'll eat the latest and greatest but I always migrate back to my foods and that's what makes me happiest. So the favorite food I have that I like to eat is the one I'm making, the one I'm eating at that moment, because every time I sit down, my partner can hear me going, mmm, that tastes good, and he's going, did you do it again? And I'm like, I think so. And whether it be lasagna, whether it be rice and beans, whether it be quinoa and um, kale soup, or anything of that nature, or a burger, or a hot dog, or a regular sandwich. They're all my favorite when I'm eating them, just like my dancing. The best dance is the one I'm dancing. So in order to make like a split pea with ham, change all the ingredients to be plant-based, vegan ones. And there are many different choices for vegan substitutes of ham or burger, or hot dog, or cheese, which, you know, when I first started, some of them I didn't like, but then again, when I wasn't vegan, I didn't like some products either. So I suggest that you just try and try until you find one that you like.
So in a given week, on a given day, in the morning I might have a tofu scramble, or I might have pancakes, or my favorite, pancake cake, or I might bake some muffins, bran muffins. So it all depends. For lunch, it could be anywhere from a vegan sandwich to a pasta dish or to soup like kale and quinoa, which is very tasty. For dinner, it could be something like rice, and green pigeon peas with a side of fried plantains and perhaps some um, calabacitas in a little pan fried thing. Or it could be oriental, such as fried rice, or it could be Indian fare, meaning Eastern Indian fare, like um, vegetable korma. Oh, watermelon. <laughs> Um, when watermelon is seasonal, um, we are eating that for breakfast. Um, otherwise, um, it would be blueberries, strawberries, um, raspberries, blackberries. Uh, that would be the morning time, I guess, say breakfast, breakfast. Um, and then um, probably later on in the afternoon, it'll be some quinoa, vegetables such as asparagus, uh, tips, um, broccoli. Um, cauliflower, black eyed peas, and um, lentils, um, um, green lentils, yellow lentils, black beans. Those mostly are the ones. Breakfast is usually either oatmeal or tofu pudding, uh, silken tofu pudding. I have a recipe on my website for that. Go check it out. It's delicious and it tastes like the real thing. It kind of tastes like yogurt if you put some fruit and lemon into it, it's so good. I usually throw some seeds and nuts on top of that. I try to have like a large variety and switch it up. Lunch is usually either tofu or seitan or some kind of meat replacement. It's high in protein, some kind of a grain, usually not rice. I try to do this pre-workout or post-workout uh, to increase growth hormone and grow my muscles more. I've been uh, eating more veggies with that, more salads. Uh, or fruit. I usually have like at least one fruit after every meal because I have a sweet tooth and I always want to just eat a bar of chocolate uh, and it's much easier to eat a bunch of fruit instead. Uh, and dinner is the same as lunch. I make curries a lot. I don't really like salads so I would rather make soups because I'm Russian so I eat all of my foods hot. I drink hot tea, I eat hot soups and, uh, and curries and uh, things like that. So what food do I enjoy? I pretty much love all vegan food. Uh, there's really great junk food these days, wonderful ice creams now. For me, I try to stay on the healthier side. I like eating a lot of you know, beans, whole grains. I love potatoes, sweet potatoes, nuts, seeds. Usually I'll cook all of these things up, oftentimes in an air fryer, throw them together, makes it really easy. Some of my favorite foods are mushrooms. I can eat mushrooms every single day of my life. I like shiitake mushrooms. I like uh, oyster mushrooms. I like portobello mushrooms. I like them all types of ways. I also like grits. I really love grits. So I put a little bit of vegan cheese in some grits and a little bit of vegan butter and salt. I don't do that sugar. And uh, <laughs> it's a wrap. So yeah, mushrooms are one of my favorite, favorite foods in the world. And pizza. <laughs> so much to uh, talk about when it comes to food. Uh, I love all sorts of foods. Uh, when I, I came to veganism kind of late in life, you know, in my late 30s, so I had well-established patterns and dietary habits, and so I do enjoy uh, having faux meats and that kind of thing, especially with some of the wonderful ones that are out there, like, for instance, uh, Beyond Meat. Uh, their burgers are incredible. Yeah, I enjoy all sorts of uh, variety of foods and I incorporate lots of uh, fruits and vegetables and into my diet because I know the huge benefits of having those in, my, in our diet. And we make them, we prepare them in such a way that they're wonderful to eat and des delicious. So it's not, a, it's not difficult at all that way. I make a, um, a recipe called grits and greens. Uh, so I'll make uh, hominy grits, those, those yellow hominy grits, uh, and what I'll do is I'll add um, a little turmeric into it, salt and pepper, a little bit of fat in order to make it super tasty, and then uh, a lot of greens in it and cook that up. 
We'll have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches sometimes. Like I was talking about before, uh, substituting out mushrooms in spaghetti or in when we make chili, we'll instead of having ground beef in it, we'll have uh, beans in it, uh, kidney beans or something like that. Uh, soups, uh, lots of wonderful soups and stews. Uh, they're all so delicious and so nutritious. So uh, I, I don't miss out on anything. Day-to-day -day foods, definitely try to eat whole foods as much as possible. I love that there is a replacement food for everything out there. And of course I love the ve all of the new vegan cheeses that have come out are amazing. All of the veggie burgers and the ice creams and all the treats, but I really do treat those as sometimes foods. So I'm definitely eating salads, leafy greens every day, grains, quinoa, beans, and brown rice, making stir fries and make tons of soups. My absolute favorite thing to make is soups. And then the other benefit is, of course, these are a lot healthier is it's really affordable. So I just shop at the regular grocery store. I'm not going to the specialty shops or the health food shops very often. Every now and then I'll go and get something, but I'm just shopping in the regular aisles of the grocery store and eating as much whole foods, plant-based foods as, um, as I can. And that definitely also feels better. I, I notice a difference than when I'm buying pre-made or pre-packaged foods. Those are not only more expensive, but they do have, tend to have a little bit more sodium and sometimes preservatives and are just not quite as healthy. So fortunately I have the time and availability to cook three meals a day and I enjoy cooking. So that works really well for me and I feel really fortunate for that. Uh, I love pizzas and hamburgers. Um, I got back into juicing recently, so a lot of green juices with spinach and green apples. Um, I love juices with uh, turmeric and ginger and pineapple. I'll do protein shakes. Um, I love cooking with tofu. It's actually really easy because, you know, it's extremely bland at first, but it's actually not all that tough to season it and cook it how you want it. And any of the stuff I enjoyed eating before I went vegan, um, I just make the vegan version of it. And because of my veganism, I feel like I became a better cook because uh, it made me go a little bit out of my comfort zone and foods that I wasn't cooking with before. So I started using a lot more spices, a lot more fruits and vegetables. But I'm just as happy with cereal and with fruit in it. Um, I love, love fruit and um, protein bars when I'm on the go, the different snacks. Uh, still love my, my snacks, so. My favorite foods have changed in the past couple of years because the way that I'm keeping myself healthy these days is with Ayurveda. Ayurveda is a 5,000 year old Indian healing philosophy that grew up alongside yoga. So it fits beautifully with yoga and it's helped me so much as I'm getting older with my digestion and with my attitude. So I'm eating a lot of food that's comforting. So my body type in Ayurveda is called Vata and we really appreciate warm, soothing kinds of food. So for example, I've eaten oatmeal a lot of the time for breakfast for many years, but now I make that oatmeal really soupy and creamy with rice milk or almond milk. And of course I put in all the wonderful superfoods like flax and blueberries and all of these things that we know are gonna up our antioxidants and spices, my goodness. If you had asked me five years ago, what are your favorite foods? I certainly wouldn't have said cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, ashwagandha, <laughs> hing, all these amazing kinds of herbs and spices. But I do consider them today foods and I use them liberally. It used to be that my Christmas spices, you know, the cinnamon and, and the nutmeg and that kind of thing, I would freeze and get them out in December when I was gonna be making cookies. And now I use those spices every single day as well as savory spices like uh, turmeric and hing, which is a wonderful Indian spice, and cumin. There's just no end to the wonderful spices that make any kind of food so delicious. 
So if I'm not having that um, oatmeal for breakfast, I might have an Ayurvedic chocolate shake. So I make a room temperature shake with a ripe banana, a little bit of cacao or carob, and then I put some of those magnificent morning spices in and a little ground flax and it's smooth and it's comforting and it just works. So I also really, really love an Ayurvedic dish called kitchari. And kitchari is a beautiful blend of rice and some kind of split small beans. So you can use split mung beans or split lentils. And then you put in vegetables of your choice, fabulous spices. Again, we're going with the turmeric, the cumin, etc. And you cook it up. I do that in a slow cooker in the morning. So I have it for the big midday meal. And it's a kind of consistency that just makes you feel like you came home from school and maybe it was a rainy day and your mom or your grandma or your favorite aunt had made you some wonderful kind of soup or stew. So that's a great uh, regular that we have around here. And of course, because I also have a husband who just loves wonderful vegan food, we'll do um, some of his favorites. Chili in the winter time especially, he loves pasta any way you fix it. And every now and then he wants himself a good old Beyond Burger. A big part of our diet is um, we'll make just you know, like rice and then like stir fry vegetables into it. Um, sometimes we'll add like the garden replacement, you know, like uh, vegan chicken strips. Um, sometimes we'll just add tofu to it or sometimes we'll just eat it like that. And of course, there's things like peanut butter and jelly that, you know, is, is pretty simple. A lot of, you know, sort of rice based meals, whether it be beans and rice or it's a lot of tofu and potatoes. So it's, uh, you know, sort of like the vegan equivalent of meat and potatoes is like tofu and potatoes. And I mean, we'll just cook plain tofu, maybe salt it and eat it with potatoes. So, I mean, we're, we found our own way to be very boring in our, our diet, you know, living on the sanctuary and like constantly being busy cans of vegetables is a, a big hit with us so just like a can of peas a can of carrots a can of bean uh, green beans like tends to be a staple for us because we can open it eat it without even heating it and then get back to whatever we're doing we love to go get you know like vegan pizza at places um, or get chipotle you know like their sofritas but by and large it's a lot of you know just kind of like veggies cooked with rice and I don't know in some ways I think sometimes I'm more just like I, I don't care about food you know I'd much rather focus on this so I think that probably ties into why we're a bit boring food wise <laughs> <laughs> almost like the uh, I want to say like stoicism or something where you're just like you know abstaining from too much pleasure because <laughs> you know you're so focused but yesterday we had uh, rice lotus rice which is grown on volcanic soil it's fantastic it's the mercedes of the rices and it tastes so good and then i made um, a kind of a saucy salad it's um, on a video it's avocado orange salad and it has lots of greens it has um, herbs like uh, parsley, fennel, oregano, or whatever you have at hand, I would anyway to do a quick uh, sidekick is like grow your own food. Even if you don't have any plot, just have a pot or two and grow something, grow some herbs, a tomato in the summer or a cucumber and grow sprouts. We have also a sprout video well made it's uh, easy, it's so easy. And so you have this uh, one part like rice and then that salad over it, it has cucumbers and it has lots of nice spices, cayenne and, or garlic, whatever you like to choose, uh, you can substitute anything. Or I make some rice with some winter squash and maybe some beans 
and then a nice sauce over there, creamy, tiny uh, lemon sauce, and, and then a garnish with little greens. So it's easy, like lasagna is so easy, I substitute the cheese with nutritional yeast and some creamer of some kind or oat milk, uh, which you can all see on the videos too. And it's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. One more thing which really makes you jump out of your shoes and that's the uh, chocolate mousse. It's made from avocado. It has only three or four things in there. So it's avocado is the base. It has fair trade, it's all organic cacao and then vanilla and, and some sweetener you can uh, blend up some dates or you can use agave or maple syrup or whatever you like and then you put a little peppermint leaf on top and a few raspberries if you have and this is absolutely delicious. I know as a woman one likes the dairy more than the meat. Men like more the meat usually with exceptions. So one is into milks and one is into uh, uh, yogurt, yogurt, that healthy yogurt with probiotics. So I figured out making yogurt in a few minutes. You can see it on video. It's so easy making yogurt. I make uh, oat milk, I make soy milk, I make all these different milks which I love. And I love yogurt. So I make the yogurt and the butter, I don't indulge because of the fat. It's, it's like a pure fat bomb. So I'm not doing it. I take tahini, I put a little water and mix it up to a creamy kind of firm substancy and then just put it on the bread and some jam on top. I don't even feel anymore. I, uh, regret or I have to give up something, the butter. So I'm done with it. I feel really blessed to have the unique perspective of being vegan for 30 years, 30 years of vegan advocacy, because I can see how far we've come not only in the abundance of vegan food options, which is just incredible, anything you're craving, and for me lately that's been vegan donuts, you can find it, you can find it vegan, and it wasn't that way 30 years ago. Green leafy vegetables are powerhouses in terms of uh, their health promoting ability. So I try to make sure that I'm getting some form of green leafy, raw green leafy vegetable in my diet at least three times a week. I really like the spring mix that you get in the bag because it has several different kinds of dark green lettuces. I frequently add, we'll buy some arugula to mix in with that because I love arugula. I try to include cruciferous vegetables in my diet on a regular basis because again, they're very potent in terms of their anti-cancer, anti-disease capabilities. If I had somebody who could prepare roasted Brussels sprouts for me, I would probably eat those three times a day, um, but I do it as often as I can. And like to try to include legumes in my diet, a minimum of three to four times a week in some form or fashion. Legumes are beans, peas, lentils, and again, the greater the variety, the better. Beans are, again, some of the most nutritious and potent plant foods that we can eat. Try to get some kind of fresh fruit on a regular basis. When I can, I do a multi-berry fresh fruit smoothies a couple times a week. Otherwise, you know, citrus fruits like grapefruits or now that we're in the peach nectarine season, I try to include those. Just a variety of different plant foods. And I, I have to be honest, I love rice. So I end up eating a lot of rice, uh, brown rice, wild rice, uh, and so forth. I developed my daily dozen based on the best available balance of evidence. Uh, rather than being a meal plan or diet in itself, it's simply a checklist from my book, How Not to Die, to inspire you to fit some of the healthiest of healthy foods into your daily routine. Our free app is designed to help you think about meal planning and how you can improve the nutrient density of what you eat. Um, think of it as your food diary. It's super simple to use. Here's how it works. Eat delicious meals. That include daily dozen foods. Track your daily servings in the app. 
repeat the process and watch healthy eating become second nature. You can look back at your history to analyze your progress, switch over to weight loss mode, and you can also keep track of the 21 tweaks to accelerate the loss of body fat straight from how not to diet. We wanted to make the app as informative as possible, so it also takes you directly to relevant videos on nutritionfacts.org, so you can stay on top of the latest research from the peer-reviewed medical literature. Download Dr. Greger's Daily Dozen app today, and let it help you start a regular routine that can impact your long-term health.